So right now over here, we have created our guide. So back to our concept, okay, from the trickguides.com.com, okay. So over here, it have different type of loaded method, okay. You can either give it face loaded, okay, which is which means it just put a square lid insert at one opposite face okay or the edge loaded which means one of the edge is loaded let's say this is three and four okay i mean since over here three four is here okay let's say this is one and two okay one and two is loaded which means four and five having will have a higher chance to show up okay or a corner loaded which is pyramid shape okay at one corner to make the diagonal face to having to have the higher chance overloaded which is basically almost seems like face loaded okay just that the lid of it is slightly thicker okay heavy so using this concept we are going to apply it in kura while we slice our object okay in Kora, so over here you can see I have my Kora is on, okay, my ultimate Kora on. So in this video, I'm going to show you using the same method but in two different software to slice the object, okay. So first of all, let me load my uh, file, okay, which is our dice in here, okay. You can simply drag and drop it in so you can have the dice. So right now over here you can see that okay if you want to move your screen you can hold shift and click on the right click okay to move it so right now you can see that over here we have our dice okay and then it is placed at the center of the base the scale is 35 millimeters I'm not going to change that okay one thing that we do before I show you the method, let me show you one thing. Okay. As default, if we set our profile, okay, our slicing profile, okay, and you just make everything to default, okay. Let me just set this to default, everything to default. When you click on slice, okay, and you click on preview, actually, I missed something. The infill density also. Okay. I just undo it. When I click on slice again and then inside our preview menu over here, okay, let me zoom in. Okay, so if I decrease the layers, okay, here you have the number of layers. If you decrease the layers, you can see that the density or the load is distributed evenly. Okay, you can see over here, okay, this is our infill, this grid shape is our infill and then the outer one is our wall okay the red color and the green color one is our wall so you can see that this way okay that Cora uh, as default profile okay the weight of it is distributed evenly okay so how can we make this the weight of our dice to distribute uneven okay which means one side will be heavier and the other side will be lesser. So to do this, we are going to use one setting called per model setting. So over here, you can see you have the per model setting, click on it, and we are going to use this modified setting for overlap. But before we click on it, okay, first we need to insert a different object into our uh, surface, okay? into Cora also so let me go back to our 3d design which is our tinkercad and then let me drag a box to our work screen and click on the box and press on export so right now we are going to export this box only so select stl okay you can see that the file is saved as uh, unfair dice bracket one okay so let me go to my folder so unfair dice bracket one this is our box 
drag and drop it into your slicer, which is either Ultimaker Cura or any other slicer, and you will have the box. Okay, so let's scale this box first. So I'm going to scale and make it to, since our dice is 35 millimeters, I'm going to scale this uh, for around 36. Okay, make sure that uniform scaling is ticked. Okay, make everything to 36. After that, and take the uniform scaling, and we are going to change the height to just 10 millimeter. Okay, so this one will be our per model set, will go into our per model set. Okay, so select on your box, move it to the center by changing the X to zero also, and then click on per model setting and click on modify setting for overlaps. Okay, once you click on that, change this infill mesh to cutting mesh. Okay, and then over here, you are going to select the setting. So here, I'm going to select a few settings. First will be our wall thickness wall line count and then after that if you scroll down our infill density and infill pattern okay this box so wall thickness okay inside the walls category you have wall thickness wall line count and then inside the infill you have infill density and infill pattern after that once you select this box close it okay now first thing i'm going to make our dice okay the infill to zero and make the wall of it okay the outer layer thicker so inside your print setting okay you can go for manage profile okay and then inside the uh, settings okay over here as default normally it will give you basic okay click on it and select add button okay we are going to do slightly more settings over here okay so over here, as default, you can see the line width is 0 0.4 millimeter. Okay, so this one we will just remain it to the same. Okay, line width normally should be the same as your extruder, the extruder, the size of your extruder. Okay, so now over here for our wall thickness, okay. As default is one millimeter. Actually, supposedly, if let's say the line width is zero point four, okay. What is mean by line width is basically this one. Let me just select it, take you for preview, okay. This width between the green color, okay, or the green or red or either any of it is the line width, okay. As default is 0 0.4 so if 0 0.4 and the layer the wall layer you can see you have one red one green so the wall layer is two so 0 0.4 times two basically is actually eight okay but because Cura will make it make the value to absolute value that's why it's one millimeter it's okay, okay. right now I'm going to change this one the wall thickness okay so 0 0.4 if let's say we want to have four wall lines okay the wall lines we want to have four to five okay so over here this wall thickness i'm going to just change it to 1.5 okay and you can see wall line count will automatic change to four after that for our infill density i'm going to set it to zero okay and once you slice it Go for preview. Over here, you can see you don't have the infill, but the wall thickness is slightly thicker. Okay, this is what we want. Okay, after that, we are not done yet. So let's go back to our prepare and then click on our cube, okay, which is this one, and press on per model setting. Over here, you can see as default is set the wall thickness and wall line to as what we set over here okay as what we set over here so right now we want to change this one so 
make sure you click on your cube and then click on firm model setting go for the modify setting for overlaps okay first change the wall thickness to zero and i just want for the density so the density i'm going to put 100 okay and the pattern you can change whatever you want okay maybe i'm going to change it to green okay instead of black so in field density uh wall thickness is zero in field density is 100 pattern is green and then here is the wall thickness is 1.5 okay and everything is the same and click on slice once it's sliced it gives you the time is roughly two and a half hours it's okay let's go for preview okay over here when you print it it will print this part only this this part the cube it won't print okay so what you can see here okay if i decrease my my layers okay you can see until here this part is all filled wow this part is all filled with 100 percent of density okay and the other part is just limit the same okay so this is what we want okay actually it's a bit mistake let me go for the pen i should decrease this uh, cube smaller slightly smaller so let me change the x to let's say 25 30. and then the y also to 30. and then slice it again go for preview voila okay over here you can see this cube this cube over here that is our pro model setting which means this area this particular is specially loaded okay so over here since we loaded put our load at the base for number one which means number six has a higher chance to come up so let's say if you don't want six to have the higher chance but maybe you want let's say three number three so what we can do here let's rotate this one okay okay so over here you can rotate on the green axis which is the y okay. make sure the face that you want it to have higher chance to come out to face at the top okay so if three is facing up at the top which means the side that is faced for the five should be loaded okay so the opposite side of the number that you want need to be loaded so that the number that you desire will be show up okay so if let's say you don't want to make a specific number to come up let's say you want to make three specific numbers to come up then maybe you can put each look like we saw just now okay so let's say i want three two and one to have the higher chance then we should make this load our load to rotate a bit maybe 45 degree and then since we want three two and one okay so i need to rotate in the z this also so that it face at the back okay and then we can move this load to the back first oopsie let me click on our load move it back over here so that loaded okay so you can make this side loaded okay the opposite side of the desired number to be loaded and slice it okay if you go for preview you can see that this particular size it is loaded but it's actually not enough so let me go back to the pen so maybe i should scale this one okay you can just estimate like how much you want the side to be loaded let 
can move it to one corner so that the opposite side of that diagonal place is loaded. Okay, and let's go and slice. And over here, if I go for preview, okay, you can see this specific diagonal side is loaded. Okay, so this is how we want it to be. Okay, so once you load your uh, face, so remember to save your object. Okay, so let me just save it. Okay, so once you slice, once you achieve what you desire, okay, once I mean, once you slice the object, okay, according to what you want. Remember to save your G, your file, okay, in G code. So click on save to this, and then make sure you save it at the place that you remember. So for me, I'm going to save it at desktop and click on save. And you can see the file is saved. Okay, so that's basically all about our unfair deck. Okay, once you export your G code, you can send it to the 3D printing shop, or if you have a 3D printer, you can print it and try to have a look whether the specific number that you want is coming out frequently okay so i will prepare another video on how to slice the for the pro model setting in idea maker so you if you are interested in doing the pro model setting in idea maker you can click on the video link in my description below and have a look on it and that's all for our loaded dice See you guys again. Bye.